Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and today we are going live to paint this adorable little Christmas camper. So we have a painting kit for this on our website, tipsyartist.com, that gives you everything that you need, all the supplies are included, and we ship it right to your house. So again, just check that out, tipsyartist.com, and it's on the second place on the menu where you just go up to online classes, and it's all right there for you with painting kits. All right, so to get started, we have our line art traceable that's already done on here, and a couple of helpful hints with this. I've worked a little bit ahead, uh, but we've got our traceable here, dull side faces up, and then the shiny side that's a little bit darker faces the canvas. So I've got mine just centered in the middle of the canvas here. It gives you a good idea of how this works. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off. But before I do, real quick, let me show you this. We use the colored pencil to go ahead and do all the tracing on all the line work. It's colored so that you can definitely see where you've been. Really helps with the process a lot. Makes that a lot easier for you. And then I'm going to lift this up here. Go ahead and take that off. And then we also include a permanent marker so that you can reinforce every single line with your black line so that makes it really easy for you while you paint. So that's what that's for. And today, because our background is black, I didn't go ahead, I didn't do any of this lettering because we're just gonna end up covering that all up anyway. So I'm just gonna have to freehand on the lettering at the very end, or it's just optional, and you can just do lots of little snowflakes all throughout your sky. But you can also, what I recommend you doing, if you're working on this at home, is you can use your traceable at the very end. We have all kinds of words that come with the kit, or you could even use the same thing, and you can actually transfer this afterwards whenever it's done, and it will show up lightly even over the black at the very end, and then you can follow that along. All right, so, ta-da, to our painting now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with all the brights that we're going to be doing inside of the surface area of the shapes that we have traced. So I've got my paint all ready to go. Here's our little paint kit that comes with it. And then I'm gonna be starting with a little bit of green. So we're gonna use a Christmas green to begin with here. So basically I'll start with some cadmium green and then just a little bit of this bright yellow green. So we'll mix both of those together. And I've got some on my plate from earlier, so it's about two, um, let's see, about a size would be about quarter size amount, heaping dollop of that, and then we'll just mix both of those together, and it makes a very pretty bright, vibrant green right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this into my tree, and I'm using my little buddy brush. This is a quarter inch Taclon flat brush, and I'll just go ahead and smooth that onto the surface as we get around the edges. You have to concentrate more on using the line edge of the brush, and then once we get into the center, then you'll wanna kind of feather that out. Hold the flat side of the brush to the canvas, and that will help you get a nice thick coat right over the top. So just this beautiful, lovely green right in through here. And then we'll also be using this as a nice accent in our camper here as well. But now we need to just feather this out. So we've got a nice good amount of coverage over the entire surface. And now we just wanna get a nice smooth coat. So we're gonna just turn that handle more over to the side and just feather out those brush strokes. All right, so let's see. In the back, I've got a little bit of green accent happening here in the middle. And then just for simplicity, so you don't have to worry about cutting in, this little heart shape will bleed through. So I'm just, I'm just gonna run that paint all the way through there. It just makes it a lot easier on you and you can just concentrate on making a nice fluid stroke all the way across. 
And again, just try to think about holding that handle more over to the side. And that will give you nice coverage and it will also help smooth out those brush strokes in there. We also have a few of these in our lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my little buddy brush, dry it off. Now we're gonna come in with our little bit brush. This is the smallest brush that comes in your kit. Twirl that into that green. And I'll just alternate these. So we'll do this one green, and then we'll skip one and do the next one green. And then finish with this one. All right, now rinse out. Okay, now we have um, some cadmium yellow that we want to use with our star. So let me show you what this looks like in our kit. So it's a very bright yellow cadmium yellow. Got some of that on my plate nearby. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little bit brush, load up, and then do a quick little twist here into it so that I basically just twist the tip of the brush into a nice fine point so that it's still easy to manipulate when I go into these smaller areas. And we'll fill into all these little areas right in here. There we go. Let's see, do I have any other gold? Could have done some gold lights if you want to. I'm gonna just keep mine red and green this time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my little bit brush. And now we're gonna come in with some beautiful red paint. So I've got some red nearby and in your kit, you have some cadmium red. And you can leave it just as it is. This is a really nice warm red, or you can mix it equal parts with some primary magenta. So basically you just squirt out two equal parts, about approximately the same size, and you just mix those two together. And I've got some of this from earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my little buddy brush, just push right into that red that I've mixed up, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the bottom here. And I need to go ahead and smooth this out, so I'm gonna to continue to load up the brush, but apply some firm pressure so that my edge stays nice and thin. It's a little bit easier to control, especially when I need to come in and do some line work on that straight edge, just like that. So we're just gonna try to get really good coverage here. Get right next to those edges. And then we'll just feather this out. Little dashes and then, yeah, little curves. Fill this in. And then just help kind of feather this out. So there is our beautiful red accent happening in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take it into this little section as well. Okay. And you know what, I think 
going to do a bright yellow door. That's kind of fun. Something a little bit contrasting and different. All right, so here we go. Let's get some more of our cadmium yellow. Got to get more of that. And clean little buddy brush. And we'll just smooth this out all over the surface area of our bright door here. A bright door that welcomes opportunity and prosperity. Actually, a red door is a sign of prosperity, but you know what? We're going to declare this bright, sunshiny door to be full of opportunity as well. So very pretty and bright. It's a nice little accent with our yellow star too. Okay. And then I want one more accent here with that cadmium yellow. So I'm gonna do a little light here. It's very pretty. And then we need to come in and do our little red accents now. So I've got my little bit brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and push into that red paint that we had loaded up from earlier, and I wanna make sure and get our little light in. Christmas lights. Way to go, and little hearts. And we'll just fill those in now. Because I think our green's pretty well set up. So those are looking really cute right over the top. Looking good. All right, now I'm gonna do a little red door handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the end of the brush, the handle, go right into that red, and then we'll just press straight forward. And you could actually do different designs on your door. Like I'm gonna just put in a little heart just for fun. That's sweet. All right. Okay, so now we can also do some little white dots right over the top here. So I've got my little clean brush handle now, and we'll come into a little bit more of this white. Just press right into it and then just press straight down. So a nice, fun, easy way to make pattern. It doesn't quite get it all the first time. You can just recompress and hit it again. Theoretically. <laughs> I don't know why it's, yeah, let's try that again. There, that's what I want. Ah, better. All right, so, got a lot of our detail done now and now we can work on the bristle side of that little bit brush and do some little white accents here. So just a little sketch of a line. Have those kind of going through. All right, 
Now we need to go ahead and blacken in our little tire here. And then we'll start to work in our snow. Let's see. Now I've got some black around here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Got some black nearby and some white and some gray for our snow. All right, so I've got my little buddy brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go into some black paint. And we're just gonna fill in this little tire. Just pure black paint. This is Mars Black with your paint kit. And then we do the same thing with our little tree trunk here. Again, just pure black paint. So now we're gonna think about our snow a little bit. And you can do a straight line with a ruler if you wanna be really precise about it, or you can just kind of make it kind of wavy. So I'm gonna do something that's just a little bit more kind of wavy, like that. Kind of casual. And then I'm gonna clean out my little buddy and then I'm gonna come back in with my mama brush and I have a lot of pure white here nearby and then we're going to start to put put in all of this pure white and a little bit of this light gray here too so we'll just push this through and all the base here and then I get right next to that black while it's still a little bit wet and get a soft transitioning blend. And then work that into the snow. Just little hints of that lighter gray. softly fades from that dark black to that gray and then to more of the white highlights that run through. soft blend and more white that all the way across. All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and come in with all of our black that comes into our sky. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my mama brush. Make sure it's nice and clean, and then we'll, we'll dry it off here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just go into some pure black for our sky here. So. 
and just smooth it on initially. And then when you're working on your second coat, you wanna make sure for best texture that you go ahead and crisscross on the pattern so that it reflects the light well and looks like it has really good coverage over the surface area. Otherwise, you're gonna see a lot of streakiness and transparency. So little crisscrosses with your brush. That, that's gonna be what you're gonna to have to maintain as a consistent stroke throughout all of this. And as long as you're working on a flat surface, you can always add a little bit of water to your brush to help make this a little bit more fluid over the surface area. But again, really make sure it's flat, that way you don't have any water runs. All right, as you get near the edge here, you wanna thin out your brush a little bit. So firm pressure, check your edge nice and thin. So that makes it a lot easier to work in around this little camper. All right, so we have an interesting transition here. Now, one way to avoid it completely is just start your snow up higher in the middle of the tree. That way you don't have black intersecting with black. Um, but in this case, what I'm going to do, since I've already created that, I'm gonna go ahead and soften my skyline just a tad in throughout this area. So I'm gonna take it to a dark charcoal right around the trunk here. And then that way my trunk won't get lost. And then I'll just have it softly fade into the black sky here.
So it's just a little bit of softness. That way you don't lose it, lose the shape of it. And then we'll just work right back into this with just that pure black. But again, if you don't want the complexity of that, then just bring your snow up higher and really easy. Nice thin lines, knees right there. All right. And again, just kind of check your black a little bit. Make sure you've covered up. See, I'm seeing a little bit of white peekaboo through here. So I'll go over that a little bit more and just kind of crisscross it out, making sure I'm not seeing any transparency or obvious brush strokes that don't that are like way too straight like this, that don't reflect the light well. So I wanna go back over again with my little crisscross action. We have our lovely black sky. Now I'm going to go ahead and get ready for little details of snow in the background. So I need my little buddy, little buddy brush. And I'm going to go into some pure white paint. A little bit of firm pressure. I scrape that back and forth. That loads up, but then I want to make sure I've got nice flat edge and it definitely required a little bit of firm pressure again because it was kind of waving like this and i want this to be super thin so i'm going to pick up a little bit more of this pure white and just have it available on the side so i can continue to kind of push into it and then my little bits of snow here in the background i it's actually more ideal to wait till the background's completely set up and dry i'm just going to try to look for the driest areas Because what's happening when it's not completely dry, then it does a little bit of a soft blend in with that background. And so it's not quite as contrasting. Now you may actually like that it's not super contrasting. So you might like the subtlety of that, but if you want it to be very bright over the top, then just give it a little bit of time to set up and dry. But it's like making a little plus sign and then two little diagonals through that. And I just kind of scatter them all over the sky here. And as I go into the paint, of course, ideally yours should be dry, but I'm having to go into some wet black paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off any of that residual darkness before I come right back into the white again.
hair. All right, it's looking good. And we're gonna do a few more little accents with our white around our tree. And we're gonna come in with our little bit brush, do a little twirl into the white paint. And little bits of light coming off the sides here. And a little bit of a sketch around the edges here. And then we're gonna do that fun little polka dot trick again with the end of our brush with the biggest brush handle. And I'm gonna come in with some red right over the top of the tree. And again, this is the mama brush. So just dip right into the paint and then press straight forward. It's a big one. And then you can alternate and do another color here too. I think white's pretty on there as well. We're gonna clean off our brush and come back in with a little bit of white, same technique. And then let's make sure we've got firmed up lines with our black around certain details. Grab my little buddy again. And just go right into the black. Nice fine line. And let's make this straight line go all the way across. Get that kind of detailed in there tidied up a little bit where that green kind of had a little bit of an overflow. You can also do this with your permanent marker at the very end as well. So I think it's a lot easier for beginners to do that. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And our little tire has a little bit of snow on it. We'll fix that. And then this little line right into here. All right, I think we are done. So good job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, everything that you need for this kit is on our website, tipsyartist.com. We sell all the supplies for it, supplies everything that you need, so you absolutely don't need anything except for water out of your sink to wash your brushes, and other than that, we take care of everything for you. So it's for the same cost as the studio. Um, 
class. Exactly the same, except you get to keep all your supplies. So it's a super great value because they're on sale right now. So check that out again, tipsyartist.com. We have about, I think, more than 150 designs right now that we have loaded up. We keep adding more. And we also do custom requests. So if you have anything special you're looking for, please let us know. We are happy to create stuff. We do it all the time. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have a beautiful day. We'll see you soon.